Ever watch little kids playing t-ball? It's a form of baseball, but they don't have a pitcher. They have the ball sitting up on top of a tee for the batter to walk up and hit. Why? The ball is not moving. It's easier to hit. You may be thinking, I'm an adult. I don't have to do that anymore. Then I think about adults playing golf. Ball sitting on top of a tee. Why? Because it's easier to hit than if it was sitting on the ground. What if pickleball was like tee ball in golf, where my ball is sitting on top of a tee for me to serve? My serve's probably better because the ball's never moving, it's always in the same location. Let's look at some common serves used in pickleball and see if they can mimic that. First up, the bounce serve. Not as consistent as that, anyway. What you couldn't see from the camera angle is some of those balls actually bounce a little further away from me, some a little closer, some a little left, some a little right. It's very difficult to always hold that arm in the same spot, let it go, and have it come up off the floor at the same height and exactly the same location. It's not nearly as consistent as that. Next up, the volley toss serve. Again, not nearly as consistent as this. As I toss this ball up, sometimes I toss it higher or lower, farther forward or backwards, left or right. It's not gonna be as consistent. It can be off by a couple inches at least. And if we remember the sweet spot on this paddle is only a couple inches across. If a stationary ball is the easiest ball to hit and I could do that, my serve should be better going across that net. How would I mimic that in pickleball? Here's how. Hold that ball low let it go and hit it. Here's what that looks like. It should have looked like I was almost hitting that ball out of my hand. At the same time I let this ball go, I started my paddle swing. That ball does not have time to drop very far. That's as close as I can get to that. A couple of key components here. First, I was holding that ball very low when I hit it. Why? If I'm standing with my arm fully extended, and it should be when I serve, you'll notice that the sweet spot of my paddle is below my knee. If I'm holding the ball there and I simply let it go, my paddle gets there quickly and it doesn't have time to fall very far. What happens is that ball contacts the sweet spot of my paddle, my serve is better. The second key thing I was doing was trying to hold this ball close to my knee. I'm using my knee as a reference point. The closer this ball is to my knee, the more consistent location this ball is when I let it go. The further away from my knee, the less consistent this location is going to be, and that's going to cause my serve to suffer. My last serving example is not as consistent as that, but that's as close as I can get. What do we need to do? Simply hold the ball, let it go, and get the paddle there as quickly as we can. The closer we can hold this ball to the knee, the more consistent the location, if I just let this ball go and get my paddle there quickly, it has minimal time to drop. It's as close to being stationary as I can get it. Now go practice.